Good afternoon Year 3 and welcome to this week's topic lesson. So today we are learning to, to develop an understanding of the Roman legacy and we're going to start off by listening to the poem called The Romans in Britain by Judith Nichols and on the screens I've got a copy of that poem but if you click on the link it will take you to a website and you'll be able to hear that poem being read. So I hope you enjoyed listening to the poem. Now in the poem, Judith Nichols, who's the author, uses the words gave us a lot. So I just want you to take a moment to have a think about what do you think that means? Was it just at that time that Britain got something or have we still got something today from the Romans? Let's have a think about our learning objective and particularly think about the word legacy. So a legacy is something that has been left behind and the legacy of the Roman Empire was extremely important. So many things that form part of everyday life were introduced or improved by the Romans. Over the centuries since the collapse of the Roman Empire, Roman ideas, literature, art and architecture have influenced many people around the world. So thinking about Judith Nichols' poem and about what the Romans gave us, we're now going to think about what the Romans did for us. So on the screen, there's a little link to a bite size, um, BBC bite size video, and it will give you information all about what the Romans did for us. So hopefully you have learnt from that video all of the things that the Romans did for us. And as you saw from the video, the Romans taught us how to read and write and speak Latin. And a lot of our words come from Latin that we use today. So for example, they had a word in Latin which was villa, and it means house. And the English word that has come from that is the word village. And if you think of a village, it's made up of a lot of houses. So that's how it's connected to the Latin root word. Another, another Latin word was prima or prima. And the meaning of that is first. And then our English word that has come from that is primary. So you can see how the English language is linked to the Latin roots. Today then, for your activity, what we would like you to do is have a go at seeing if you can find the definition of these words. So on your screens you can see a worksheet. Um, the worksheet is obviously uploaded to the website as well. And there is lots of different uh, English words that we use today on that sheet. And what we'd like you to do is to try and use a dictionary if you have one, um, or I have also put up a Greek and Latin roots um, worksheet up onto the website as well. Um, and that will help you in order to find the definition of these words and to find out which Latin root word that they came from. So to finish off our lesson today on the Roman legacy, on your screen you will see a table and in that table is a list of all of the things that the Romans did for us. Um, so, for example, you've got education, you've got sanitation or sewage, in other words, um, you've got paved streets and pavements, um, you've got benefits, so the free food for, for, for the poor people, public libraries and all of those different things. And I want you to have a think about what impact do you think some of these legacies have on our lives today? So, for example, how important is it that we have sanitation nowadays? So what would happen if we didn't have pipes to take away all the sewage water? Um, what about public, um, sorry, paved streets and, and pavements? Again, how much of an impact do they have on our lives? If we didn't have paved streets, if we didn't have pavements, we'd have to walk in the road and that's obviously very dangerous. So just have a think about all of those things. And if you can, maybe write down a couple of sentences about how some of these Roman legacies have impacted our lives today. Thanks very much, Year 3.